Ms. Denise Poir. Sir, public rental housing is provided as a social safety net for lower income and vulnerable households who have no other housing options. HDB adopts a holistic and needs-based approach when assessing requests for public rental flats and the $1,500 income threshold is just a guideline and not a hard ceiling. Applicants will not be rejected based on income alone, as HDB will also consider applicants' circumstances, including their household size, family support, housing budget, and options. For existing tenants who experience wage increases, HDB will not increase their rents during the current tenancy term. When their rents are reviewed at tenancy renewal, HDB will also consider other factors such as household size in addition to income to ensure that the rent remains affordable. When necessary, HDB will exercise flexibility based on individual circumstances. In cases where the rent is increased, HDB will also ensure that the rent increase is lower than the income increases so that tenants are always better off when their wages increase. With the uplifting of wages through the progressive wage model, we hope that more lower wage workers will be able to purchase homes of their own. HDB has various measures in place to help public rental tenants move to home ownership. These include grants such as the Enhanced CPF Housing Grant and Step Up CPF Housing Grant the Fresh Start Housing Scheme, priority in sales exercises through the Tenants Priority Scheme, as well as personalised guidance on the flat buying process from HDB's Home Ownership Support Team. Once public rental tenants sign the agreement for lease to buy a new flat, their rents will not increase for the rest of their stay, even if their incomes increase in the period before their flat is ready. Ms. Denise, Denise Poir. Thank you, MOS, for your answer. Um, I want you to reflect this uh, ground feedback uh, from employers and bosses of uh, low-income workers. They're telling me that uh, when they increase the pay of the workers, for example, through compliance of the progressive wage model, some of the lower workers were very lower wage workers were very worried that one they will not be eligible for uh, rent HDB rental flats because although it's mentioned that 1005 is a guideline, I think to many of them uh, from the official document it doesn't sound like it's a guideline. It sounds like like that was the criteria uh, for income. That's one. Second one, uh, they're also worried that their HDB rental will increase. Uh, and some of these cases were seen higher than the rate of salary increase. So I hope there's found a way, there can be found a way to communicate and assure the, both the workers and the, uh, their employers that, uh, to, uh, that these, uh, that indeed what as MOS said, you know, there'll be flexibility that uh, they will align the uh, increase in wages for these lower workers and the eligible criteria for uh, such important and useful benefits like housing and other relevant uh, social benefits. So I thank the member for the feedback. Uh, I will take it back to the ministry. And just want to assure the member that, in fact, over the last five years, uh, about 2,700 applicants whose uh, household income exceeded $1,500 actually were offered a rental flat. So, you know, we will look at it holistically and we want to assure the member that we will continue to do so and we want to help as many people as possible to have that housing option. Mr. Singh. It's a quick question. Uh, Minister, what's the backlog waiting time now for rental flat allocation? Thank you. So the 
as uh, we shared in the September PQ, uh, it's about uh, eight months' time. The waiting time is eight months.